and i think everything 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 in that show is just accurate um i really really admire how they touched on all the important points of being a startup founder so yeah i'm just gonna try go uh through it from like beginning like you know all the things that i was feeling at the beginning up until close to the end because i don't want to spoil the show uh for those that are going to go watch it Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chido and this is Chido Starts Up. Today I'm doing something different. I'm going to be reviewing a K-drama, a Korean drama called Start Up. Ah, that show is amazing. But before I do that, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. You can click the notifications button at the bottom as well. So I watched the show Start Up because the name caught my eye. Um, I think anything related to startups catches my eye. I mean, over the weekend, I even bought a drink that was called a unicorn just because of its name. Yeah, a little weakness, but hey, it is what it is. So I watched the show Startup on Netflix. Um, it's a show basically about um, a young woman and, you know, she wants to kind of find her place in the world. She comes from very humble beginnings. She had quite, you know, a tough upbringing, uh, but she was raised by her loving grandmother and she wants to start a company. Along the way, she meets, um, you know, three developers that form part of her team. And um, yeah, she just goes through like life and kind of like startup things <laughs> to kind of get towards her dream. Um, the show also just shows like different characters. It shows, um, you know, someone that she knew from her past who has managed to become very wealthy and to start her company, um, you know, using kind of money from her family. And then it also shows a venture capitalist who mentors her and her team along their journey. Um, and I think everything, everything, everything in that show is just accurate. Um, I really, really admire how they touched on all the important points of being a startup founder. So yeah, I'm just gonna try go uh, through it from like beginning like you know all the things that I was feeling at the beginning up until close to the end because I don't want to spoil the show uh, for those that are going to go watch it but um, yeah so basically the show starts uh, showing you know her beginnings and just kind of where she comes from and the things that feed into who she is today and I thought that was so important to give context into where this entrepreneur is coming from because you know people like entrepreneurs are coming from totally different places there's some that come from you know backgrounds that are more resourced than others there's some that just um you know they have to consider so many other things on their journey and i thought that was nice because it sensitized us to the different types of entrepreneurs that are out there and then um it also just showed us uh the types of relationship that she had with her family so her family was quite supportive of her um her family really wanted her to to succeed but then when you look on the flip side one of the developers that she works with um his parents were like not about it like they were very angry that he'd spent so many years trying to build a company that didn't seem like it was succeeding um him and his friends actually started a company and you know they were they were not getting investors they were not getting any breakthroughs they were living in like some dingy apartment trying to make things work you know like these three boys just going at it coding all day and all night and the parents were very angry about that and again it also just showed the way that he navigated that relationship you know a lot of the times he had to hide from his parents or he had to tell a little bit of a white lie just to appease them um and again this is what startup founders go through and then um, I think another thing that I really appreciated is that um, it showed the whole like process of them. So um, what the whole process of them like starting their business. So what actually happened is that they entered like an incubation program separately. So the developers entered, the entrepreneur entered, and then they were kind of partnered up at that program and they built their team. And that's actually how a lot of teams are formed. So some teams go to a networking event or some individuals go to a networking event and they just meet someone and they sort of click or they actually just take a leap and trust someone to be like, hey, do you want to be the CEO of our company? Or, you know, do you want to be our CTO? and be like our lead developer in my in the idea that I have and yeah I think I think a lot of people don't really speak about where to find co-founders or where or how to build a team and that show just showed how like serendipitous it actually is at times uh, so they built their team and they you know got into the incubation program and then they now had like offices more resources and they were building their, their business um one of the things that i actually loved during this show is that they were actually teaching you different terms um that are used in the industry and just different ways of doing things and going about things so um i think one of the new terms that i learned is acquiring so not to acquire but to acquire <laughs> yeah it sounds it sounds 
weird it sounds the same but um yeah and acquiring is basically the process of acquiring a company so also you like buy a company a startup that um has been running but not to necessarily use the services or you know sell the goods that they've been producing but to actually just hire you know the the developers or their talent um yeah that was pretty interesting i didn't really know about that and you know i think okay this is a spoiler that did happen <laughs> in the show and it it took you through through what i really liked about that situation though is that Obviously, it was undesirable for them because they hadn't really read their contract correctly, so they didn't expect that that was going to happen. But it still had a great outcome. So, um, yeah, the three developers ended up going to San Francisco, gaining so much experience there because, you know, Silicon Valley, it's like, ah, startup haven. But, but it just, again, sensitized you to reading your contracts, making sure that you understand what's going on, having a mentor that has done this many times before and can explain these things to you. Um, I really appreciated that. Um, yeah, another thing about the show, which I really, really respected and I thought was just spot on, was they focus on mental health. So mental health of founders, literally from the beginning, um, with the pressures that they go through, mental health in terms of like feeling a lot of guilt, you know. I know one of the developers felt so much guilt that he wasted the time of the other ones because his company hadn't picked up for so long and these two people had like committed their lives to making this work and he had a lot of guilt and he just felt like oh, you know maybe if i'd let these people go they'd be way better off than they are right now um and that's that's a feeling that a lot of people go through i know i've definitely gone through it where my business has had silent periods and i'm just like honestly can these people just <laughs> stop looking to me i feel so bad i'm wasting their time but um yeah, you know the loyalty of people that work with your startup is is theirs like they decide and if they choose to stay they choose to stay and you just always have to keep making it work but anyways it highlighted mental health in that regard mental health in terms of working with your team and also mental health in terms of putting your idea out there you know putting it out there for investors and people to either use it or criticize it you know you can literally start something but this is going to like this is going to help the world this is going to be amazing and nobody downloads it or uses it um or you could even pitch your idea you know for funding and you really need this funding to get to the next stage and then an investor just like tells you that's not going to work you know uh, so it really highlighted that and i thought that was quite important a uh, founder mental health is super 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 important if you know a founder in your life please do support them if you are a founder in your life i pray that you're getting some support along the journey and that you're also offering support to other founders in your network um and then yeah i think i think just to kind of round up because i've said i don't want to give away too many spoilers i've already given away a little bit um just to round up i just think that um oh that show that show was just so amazing because again it literally showed you what happens from like inception to you know the end um or close to the end i don't know it just showed you from inception like the journey of building a tech startup and ah oh, it just made me feel like dream child like dream don't ever let go of your dreams believe that you can do it because you really can and there obviously will be hiccups and hurdles and everything along the way um oh, oh one of the hurdles sorry, sorry one of the hurdles that actually came up in the show was corporates corporate school guys they covered everything in the show like honestly if you want to know about startup culture and startup life watch the show read the subtitles it's honest like corporates guys you can actually have a corporate on your back trying to do the exact same thing as you they've got more money more networks um probably more everything than you do and a lot of the time all you have is just your own self-belief and your grit you know your willingness to make this work for your own intention and your passion and your desires and you have this corporate on your back you know so um oh man guys ah oh, man this show was just amazing. Um, in the same way that it showed corporates that are coming for you, it also showed corporates that want to partner with you and make sure that you grow. But anyway, I'm just going to keep going on because, again, I'm sorry, this show is just so amazing. Please do watch it on Netflix. It's called Startup. Um, I'll just put, like, a picture of it in the description or in my video, and then you guys can go and check it out. But it's an amazing show. Um, it really made me feel validated in the journey that I've decided to take. It made me feel like um yeah man this is not all in vain there's honestly a brighter future ahead and yeah i'm quite excited i'm very excited for my own 
you know start up experience but please do watch it honestly i think they should be sponsoring me right now because <laughs> but yeah thank you so much uh for tuning into this video please leave your comments in the conversation below if you've watched the show let me know what you think if you've watched any other shows about startup culture or just you know building a business let me know i'd love to watch them um but yeah thank you so much like share and subscribe next time Thank you.